next to me. Then you can't score. You know I got your third brother, right? Oh, you're glory. Let's go, man. Let's go. Now, y'all can still reach up on the practice with your pastor. Wait a minute, man. Yes, yes. Pastor, and see, you keep telling me this. That's right. You keep telling me that. Yes. Don't go. What you get with me? You never go back. That's right. Huh? Lord, if you just help me to pay my bills. That's right. Now. I promise you, I'll be in church every Lord, Sunday. Lord. I'm gonna pay my tithes. Lord. You keep telling me this. Lord. You keep telling me that. Yeah. Come on. Huh? What did I bless you? You walk and never go back. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to church this morning. They understand. You know they got that Corolla out there. <laughs> you can never be too careful. Huh? And the Lord knows my heart. So if God has blessed you, I need to remind you, yes. amen, and pass lead the way to paying times. Yes, Lord. And I say pay because it is a pay because God expects for us to turn a lease. Someone say lease. A tip of what he has blessed us with. Amen. amen. And I want you to know you can't just tip God expecting you to keep making it. And many of us in life, we struggle because we don't do what God has commanded for us to do. Amen. Now let me tell you something. We all will struggle. We're going to go through some rough times. But let me tell you something. As a child of God, He ain't going to let you stay in that time. No. He's going to bring you to a season of overflow. Yes. Jesus died that we might live an abundant life. Yes. And someone wrote the song, Sister Rachel Pray. The more you give, the more He gives you. So keep on giving because it's really true. You can't be, help me somebody, oh, no matter how oh, I'm trying to help you right now. So many, so many people are not telling, you know, and I, I know it's much more than just finance, but see this time, it has much more to do with just money. Yeah. It has to do with your health. Yeah. It has to do with your relationship. Yeah. It has to do with that child that's not even around you that you're praying for. Yeah. That keep nagging you, trying to help you get tired. God will fix something that you can't fix yourself. Yeah. Might be even a neighbor, even a co-worker. We all got that one co-worker that gets on our nerve, then right? Yeah. And we, God, God will fix it. Yeah, yeah God will fix it. That's something that happened to me, and I don't have to talk too much about it, but I, 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 you know, I have to pray about it. Uh-huh. There's some things that people will do to you, and they will try to pull you out your character. But when you pay your time, God says, I got this, 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 yeah. why? Let me handle that. So, practice what? You preach. So, hey, man, everybody ought to be paying their time this morning. If the Lord bless you. If not to this morning, maybe next week, but somewhere down the line, and when Sister Becky gave, gave me that report, and Brother Dempsey, amen, and the final scene, I, I'm able to look at all those that are participating in God's program, amen, for success. Amen. And I gotta tell you if, you, if you, if you, if you don't participate, you can't expect to receive. Is that right? Amen. And, and I'll tell you, if you, if you don't pay your insurance, you're going to get in a wreck and something happens, and you try to file a claim and say, oh, no, you lapsed. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, I, you don't want to be lapsed on God's watch. Yeah. Amen. Let us pray. Let's pray. Come on, pray for us this morning. Good to see you, 
these preachers here, yeah, man, we got to lead the way. Yeah. You know, I've seen too many times over the years, uh, I've met been some men of uh, 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 the faith that have told you what you got to do, and they want to do it themselves. Yeah. That just don't fly with God. You know, I, I, I can't tell you, well, pay your time, and I don't do anything. And we have a strong finance team, amen, right here, will tell you that pastor is participating in the priest of God. Amen. And I want you to know that it, it really works. Yeah. And if any of y'all know me, now see, if any of y'all know me, you know what God has done in my life. Yeah. And God has turned my life around. Amen. And so, Jackson, every day I get up, I, I'm so happy. I say, God, look at God. Amen. You know, when God delivered you from sin, it looked like you woke up from a nightmare. Yes. And it is a nightmare. When, when you're wrapped up in sin, and sin has got you in his, in his, in his, in his, his mess. And, and when God delivers you, you got a lot to be thankful for. Amen. And let me tell you something. I, I can say it like that. I went through a drug addiction. God delivered me. But some of you went through a sickness addiction. Amen. Brother Gibson and I was talking about this morning how God had been good to him. But Gibson had gone through a, 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 a illness. And kind of left him paralyzed, and he was he was not going to sing that shit that he's in. Amen. And I look at Dips and this one, I say, man, I'm getting down to tell you, you lost so much weight. Amen. 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 <laughs> but Dips arrived, he, he, he rides of a, a 10 miles a day. And I thank God for his help. And I walked over with him, but I ain't going to tell you how. I might get you a half a mile a day. I'm going to burn the station. No, living health is very important. Yes. You know, it, it all goes to the mind, the body, and the soul. And today we have to live more healthy than we ever did before because all the illness is sickness in the land. Yes. I'm going to keep it on. Sister Rachel, let's do a couple more songs. We're going to come with a message. It's so good to see you. We're going to be here. Amen. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Mr. Dog, you don't care for you. I'm doing the drums. Bless <laughs> All right, we're we'll doing a song too, then we'll come with the message. Amen. amen. Work so hard, amen, amen. long amen. past to be a church with a lot of you. A lot of things that happen around the church are supported because of our ministry. Amen. And I'm going to ask you to continue to give the church. We didn't need your help. We're going to ask you to continue to contribute. Not only to St. Peter, but whatever church you attend, wherever you are listening, be sure that you support your local church. Yes. Amen. Yes. The church needs your pastor needs you. Yes. We need you. Amen. Yes. Amen. We're going to find a song.
Yes. If you won't be a believer, you can't be a believer and be even awesome. All right. All right. You, you, you can't be you can't be a lamb and a wolf. All right. Yes. You got to decide what you're gonna be. Come on. It's sad to say too many people in high places. Amen. From the White House to the church house. Sometimes in your house, in my house, there's some wickedness. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes. Somebody needs to hear this word this morning. Amen. I need to hear it myself. Right. Evil doers shall be cut off. Yes. Yeah, evil doers. The days are numbered. Someone said the days are numbered. Days are numbered. Yeah. And there is a popularity of wickedness. Amen. Uh, when the one observed the world, it looks like the evil doers are really getting by in life. Come on. Those that are cheating on their tax, they may be dealing drugs, yeah, yeah. they may be they may stealing houses from their employers, uh -huh. amen. They may be cutting out on their husband or wives, uh -huh. amen. They may be cutting their co worker down, yes. plotting. Yes, yes. It seems as though they're getting away. Even the evil doer himself, Brother Mac, will be seen as though they're getting away. Yes, yes. Throwing a rock and hiding their hands. Yes, yes. And then smiling in your face all the while they got a, a knife in your back. Yep. Backstab. Yes. Are you praying with me? That's right, we're backstab. Yes. Come on, come on. It seems like they're running the slow and they're gaining more control through the world. But I gotta tell you that it soon will be cut off. Yeah. When we look at what's going on in the world today, mm -hmm. when we look around our nation, yeah. we look around our world, look around our communities, yeah. it seems as though the evil doers are really getting by. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Seems as though we're losing the race. Mm. Mm. It's not only limited to African Americans, but it's limited, it also includes all those that are believers. A lot of folks have walked around. And I realize that being a person of color and, and people that look like me have gone through a lot. Yeah. And we have to stand up, amen, and, and, and try to be kind for them. But I gotta tell you that with all this evil that's going on in the world, all you and I have to do is continue to trust God. Yeah. Yeah. I will trust yeah. in the Lord yeah. until I die. And see what life has dealt the evildoers. Yeah. Are y'all praying with me? Yes. So many nations, and they are ruled by cruel and ruthless, selfish and greedy, dishonored and just plain evil from the top to the bottom. Yes. Y'all look at this every day. Yes. And some of us, and they say, well, what can I do? And I'll tell you again, go to the vote and vote. Many times we shake our heads and, and we look at people in high office and the words that they say. Y'all look at things and y'all seen the presidential debate and how negative and nasty it can get. Yes. yes. And the word is how we're going to make it. Yeah. Come on, come on. Evil doers will be cut off. Come on. And the punishment of the evil of the wickedness is that evil doers shall be cut off. Judgment is coming for the weak. We used to sing a song, Rachel, the, the amen. The wicked shall cease from trouble. Yes, yes, the weary shall be at rest. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Yes. All the what's happening to somebody, all, all the saints, all the saints, they will see that speak and be blessed. Yes, 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 you know, to be evil, you got to really want to be evil. Yes. Amen. I see you brothers in the pulpit text. I hope y'all talking to Jesus. <laughs> Amen. I'm calling out. Amen. You have to be on point. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan, when he was trying to get that ball in the net, he, he didn't have his eyes looking somewhere else. He, you, you, you have to keep your eyes on the prize. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, yeah. Don't got my quiet, man. I'm the spirit. Come on, come on. I'm trying to get somewhere. Like, right. I don't know how long I'm going to live, but it's I'm working for the evil home. Yeah. Yeah. And people are dying every day. Yeah. And I need to tell you, they, they, they don't have certain ages. They're from infants 
Amen. To middle age teenagers, and we have to get this thing right now. Right. Right. Ain't no time to play along on the God's program. Yeah. But John, amen. You either with the program or you're not. Can't shout on the fence. No. Wickedness. I'm talking about wickedness. I'm talking about evil doing. Yeah. And we, we all have been and been attacked by something evil in life. Yeah. Yeah. Bible says the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And you know what? Sometimes the most worst person of people is to make it be someone that's close to you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to look around for a stranger. Yeah. And I tell you, go around looking for it. I'm simply saying that you got to be on your guard. It's all right. My soul be on my guard. Yes. 10,000 falls around. The hosts of sin are pressing hard yes. Yes. to draw me from the sky. Yes. The whole design of e evil and weakness is to separate you from God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, for the wages of sin. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal life. Is eternal life. Yes. See, the, the thing about sin, the thing about weakness, the thing about evil, that's designed to separate you from what God has purpose for you. Yes. We cut off. It's a shrewdness of judgment. When God sees it will happen, it will happen. It is certain that that numbers will come up sooner or later. Yes. You, you can't keep doing wrong, keep doing wrong, keep doing wrong and expect something good to come out. Sooner or later, yes, you ain't going to be able to chop and block. Yes, the first thing you're the first thing, why me, Lord? Why me? Yes, and Lord will bring it back to your memories. Yes. Some of us have selective amnesia. Yes. <laughs> You've done wrong, and when wrong comes to you, you choose to forget. Yes. <laughs> Selective. Someone says, someone says selective. Yes, amnesia. Yes. But let me say it the way my grandma used to say back then. They play crazy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. So you don't want to be, you don't want to be wicked. You don't want to be evil. That's right, you you want to be right with the Lord. Yes. So that when, when, when these things come upon you, you can say in the words of greed is he that's he me than he that's in the world. You want to be a you want to be a sinner. That says I can do all things through Christ. That what? So the God, God don't need no common soldier on his own. He don't need a weak one on his own. God has given us all that we need in the Word of God. And so I can do all things through Christ. That strengthen me. Secondly, not only do we see wickedness in text. Oh, uh, Mr. Williams, but we also see wealth. Someone say wealth. Well, well, well. I mean, sometimes we talk about weakness and how the evil is seen as though there's no hope. But that's not about to tell you that there's hope. Yes. Look at the scripture. The scripture says, they shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who is they? They are we. We are the righteous. Amen. Good news come from this text. It says, and not to stop with the announcement and the weakness with him, but it also speaks of the inheritance, which would be God. In other words, you live right for God, you follow God's commandments. You know what I'm going to say, you, you pay your tithes, in other words, you, you, you pay your tithes, and may God will bless you. And I know I'm just this facts and thank the Lord. You live with a person who don't pay their tithes, they probably ain't even pay their bills. <laughs> Say like, no, pray, pray, get quiet. Hallelujah. I've been there before. Mm -hmm. And I wanted a product of grace. Yes, Lord. If, if you want to be a part of the, of, 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 of the wealth, if you want to be a part of the abundance that Jesus died that we might live, then you have to be a part of all of his requirements. Mm -hmm. Too many of us have taking some things in the Bible that applies to well, no one before we just be a prostitute. Mm -hmm. But you be an evil. Talk about oh, my God will supply all my needs, yeah. but you don't want to pay your time. Yeah. 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 You come to church and shout on credit. Uh -huh. Fact, you have to be the same people but shout on credit. Yeah. Talk about who ain't doing it. Yes, he will do it. He'll cut you off. Yes, sir. That ain't happening to anybody.
everybody this morning. Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we all have been faced yes. with some things and troubles in our life, but I need to tell you that it, it, it's not the end. God, God, God's going to make a way out. All you have to do is some more room. Go on, so I said, more to God, so I'm changing me. Yes, yes, yes. To do the right thing. Yes, yes. Then there's a the moment of inheritance. In in inheritance implies the future. Now, any person that leaves an inheritance for their children or for anyone, it means something that's going to happen in the future. Yeah. Prodigal son, one of these right now, give me mine now. Yeah, yeah. And you know that too much, too soon can be too bad. And when that prodigal son got his inheritance, you know he messed it all up? Oh, yeah, that's right. Came back home with what? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Came back home with nothing. Yeah. And now sometimes that's why God has to. Amen. Uh, put us on hold. Yeah. Sometimes he says yes. Sometimes he says no. And sometimes he's waiting and wait. Scripture says, be that wait on the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we like sin. Then my own ways like eagles. Yes, Run. Yes, I mean, we're walking, not faint. Yes, Tell you, man, you gotta wait. Yes, Something about waiting, you know, since growing up, man, I, I wanted a lot of stuff at a young age, and I would live for a little while. And a couple more months to Rachel, amen. But uh, God has been good, but Nipsey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell you that God is good. Yeah. That God knows that we, God is good. Oh, yeah. That when you decide in your mind, yes, in life is choice driven, that you are turn away from wicked ways, God has got a design for you that He says in Scripture that He'll make you the limb. Yeah. That's what He'll make you the hand. Amen. You bless you coming in. In the city and Amen. When people see you, they're calling by the name of God. Yeah. Bless. Yes. 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 We, we, we become extinction of God in, in the earth because He's limited in the earth. And God is looking for yielded vessels, vehicles to deliver His values. People may not want to read the Bible, but they'll read you. Yeah. Yeah. See you when you go to church. Yeah. See you got all dressed up that time. And when they try to see, they, 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 they try to divide you, but when you let God move in your life, they can't say that but God, God is good. Yeah. Yeah. They may never go to the church you go, but they go somewhere. Yeah. God bless me like weeds. Yeah. God bless me like that. Yeah. Bless, bless me. Yeah. Well. Uh -huh. Then there's the magnitude of inheritance. Not only will you be blessed, but it said you will inherit the earth. Come on. The Lord spoke about it in one passage and said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Oh, yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Most of the God they want, most of the God don't even own a piece of land right now. Oh, but if you just keep living right, God's going to bless you. Yeah. And I know sometimes people are so waiting for the Lord. When is it going to come? I've been waiting a long time. I like to have a house on the hill. Uh -huh. I, I, I like to have uh, uh, my, 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 my chocolate drop. Uh -huh. I, I, I like to have. And then a little change in the bank. Yeah. I, I like to have some left over. Come on. But it comes with waiting. Uh -huh. The day is coming when the entire world, amen, will belong to the God. Uh -huh. Isn't that right? Yeah, but last but not least, we see the third thing in the scripture. It says waiting. Someone say wait. wait. Those that wait on the Lord. Yes, and this is a very difficult but the cloud requirement for the blessing of inheritance. Something about we. And we pray the prayer sometimes, Lord, teach me to be patient. Yes. But we really don't want to be patient. No. When you ask for the prayer to be patient, you ask to be go and you ask to go through whatever it takes for God to develop you. Uh -huh. You know, I like go. Maybe I like too much go, but go go through a lot of a lot of heat. Uh -huh. And the reason why it goes through the heat is so it can get through, take away the drops. No, we take away the trash. Sometimes you gotta go through some things in life to get away, and get some of these things that's been weighing you down. Yeah. Some of us have some evil assignments that have been attached to our life. Right. And then some of us have some shackles that we've been carrying all our life. All right, come on. Now, when God wants you to be free of those things. Yeah. See, waiting it involves confidence. When you wait at the airport on that plane, you know, you need a certain time as you leave. And then you, you anticipate on the train, you wait on the bus, you wait on the taxi, you wait on Uber. What else you got? Uber, who else? 
Yeah, he lives. Yeah. Oh, that's why you ain't been riding with it. Anyway. <laughs> but you win. Yes, sir. And you know what? You start anticipating. You know that sooner or later it's going to get there for you. But you know God wants you to have that same kind of confidence. Yes, and to lean on God. Yes. Whether you're in sickness or health. That even if you don't ever get well or don't leave the hospital like our dear sister did, simply you should be tell, like she told our sister, Sister Mary, I got this, everything gonna be all right. Yeah. 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 involves confidence. Yeah. But we also involves courage. Come on. You wait because you have been told to wait. Mm -hmm. So if you, you are obedient to the Lord, you will be rewarded. Yeah. And I'm ready. I'm telling you, Brother Dipson, yes. that Jesus is my rock and we relate. Right. Come on, Jesus. Yes. My shelter in the time of storm. Yes. Jesus, yes. my living of the town.
say this, all right? That she supported her church even when she was away from church. Amen. Since I had all the men folks coming in, but you made it come in. And I said, she's gay, but thank you so much for that. That's a praise report. At this time, uh, I'm going to ask um, our guest minister to come and have prayers for those that are sick and shut in. We're going to ask to pray for those that have the parents and displaced by the storm. And after you get a prayer, I'm going to ask Mr. Babylon to do the dismissal. Y'all be safe out there. Amen. Amen.